Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I will be sitting down and discussing with y'all how to get started for beginners on meal planning for weight loss. So I get this question asked a lot, how do I meal plan? How have I been so successful on my weight loss journey for the past three years doing keto? And I always tell everybody, my number one is meal planning. You have to meal plan to stay on track. This is how I was so successful in losing all my weight and I still do it to this day. Not a lot of people realize how easy meal planning can be and how it can just help you to really reach your goals along your weight loss journey. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my top 10 tips with y'all. Okay, so step number one to meal planning, you are going to want to make a list of your favorite meals. So I have tons of recipes here on my YouTube channel, guys, to help you out. Tons of keto low carb recipes. I also do have playlists that you can go through. So you're going to want to somehow save meals. So I do this on my phone. If you are someone that likes to write down meals, kind of like a recipe book, little save little cards, you can definitely do that as well. And you just have somewhere to store them. And this just makes it easier to come back to while you are meal planning for the week. So if you're someone that likes to write it down, do that, or you can just save it in an app maybe. I kind of have them saved. I honestly go through my YouTube channel and go through my recipes and see what I wanna make for the week. But the internet has tons of recipes that you can definitely search through, keto, low carb, and just save them all in a place that you are going to find them and just have them safely kept. So that is step one number one, and I highly recommend to do that. And then you can always refer to it and add new recipes if you do find some of the new recipes that you enjoy. Okay, step number two, you are going to want to choose a day of the week to grocery shop. So you want to stay consistent with this day. So for example, I grocery shop on Wednesdays. Guys, life is not perfect. Sometimes it does change, but Wednesdays work perfect for me. My kids are in school. I can just go and enjoy grocery shopping alone and not have the extra people with me and then spend more money. So I choose on Wednesdays. Day. So every day, every week, you're going to want to go on that day to stay consistent. And then since you are meal planning, you're only going to plan your meals for the rest of the days up until Wednesday again. This helps save money. It helps you use your food at home. It helps you stay on track and not going out and binge eating or not binge eating at home. So choose a day of the week. Um, if you're someone that doesn't even go in store, you can definitely just plan ahead a online pickup order or curbside pickup order for that day and that helps as well. So choose one day out of the week that works best for you. Step number three, when you are planning your meals, you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind activities ahead of time. So say when you're meal planning for the week, um, you have a holiday coming up, you might not, you might wanna plan different meals for that day or say you're going on vacation, you just have an activity coming up that you're not really gonna be home for or you can want, kinda of wanna plan something different. Maybe you're going out to eat once of the week. A lot of people tend to plan meals every single day and you do not have to do that. You know things come up or you can have leftovers. So a lot of the times of the week, for example, on Sundays, I do not cook. I honestly get something either to go that's keto or low carb, or I have leftovers. Or sometimes when I am making a meal for myself, cause I'm the only one that does keto in my family. So I tend to have a lot of leftovers throughout the week. If I know I am making a meal that's gonna have a good amount of leftovers, I'll just roll it over to the next day. That helps save money. And then you don't have to sit there and plan an extra meal. So definitely, look at your calendar look at what you're doing for the week and just plan ahead for activities family activities or just going out and things like that that helps stay on track as well and then you're just not having extra food that is going to waste Step number four. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun part of writing out your meals. So if you are someone that eats breakfast, you wanna go ahead and write what you wanna have for breakfast each day of the week. And then you're gonna wanna write down any lunches, any dinners, any snacks, and even dessert. So being on our weight loss journey, guys, y'all know for keto, we crave some things. So if you are wanting a dessert for the week, write that down. So when I first started my keto journey, I would choose a dessert for the week 
week just to help me keep on track because I have a big sweet tooth and I would prep that dessert for the week and just have it on hand. So if you're someone that wants that, plan that ahead or just plan little snacks that you wanna pick up for the week as well. So if you wanna snack on some tea strings, some nuts, some fruit, some berries, some strawberries, blueberries, make sure you write down all those little snacks that you wanna go ahead and pick up as well. Definitely plan out your dinners. That is one meal that I always plan out. So I always plan out my dinners. I am not a big breakfast person, so I really don't plan out my breakfasts. Usually I'll have some items on here on hand at home. So I always have some eggs. I always have some like breakfast meat or something. And usually, I can go ahead and whip something up with what I have here at home. But if you're wanting a special breakfast, sometimes I'll make like some overnight chia seed pudding. I'll buy specific little things for that if I'm really craving it or I tend to buy a lot of protein drinks. So I'll go ahead and have some protein drinks on hand. Usually I plan my lunches as well, but sometimes I have leftovers from dinner before. So if you do have leftovers, you can definitely have those for lunch or just to keep some easy lunch things on hand at home. Some like like deli meat, some low carb tortillas definitely helped throughout my journey. Low carb solo bread helped so much throughout my journey as well, just to have those things on hand, just little lunch ideas that you can just plan out. So make sure you plan out your meals for the week. Step number five, you are going to want to start writing out your grocery list. So usually this is how I do it. I go through each meal that I have planned for the week and I write down any specific ingredients that that recipe needs. If you already have things on hand, that will help as well, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and go through each recipe and it just helps to have a visual and you have your grocery list ready and ready to head to the grocery store. So step number six, as you are writing your grocery list, I always highly recommend people to go through their pantry, go through your fridge, go through your cabinets and see what you have on hand. If you write down your list and you are you forgot you already had a specific ingredient on hand, you can just go ahead and cross that off your list because you do not need to buy extras, of course, unless you would like to. But it always helps to go through your pantry and you can also plan meals around what you have in your pantry. You do not always have to come up with dramatic new recipes and you don't always have to make recipes that involve so many ingredients. You can make meals revolving around what you have in your pantry. If you have something you wanna use up, something is going to expire soon, you don't wanna waste food, I always highly recommend people to plan meals around what you have. So that definitely helps save money as well and it helps keep you on track. And just a little side tip, if you do not always want to go through your pantry and your freezer, maybe you have a deep freezer, definitely keep a little inventory list so you can keep a separate paper of what you have there on hand. So say you have some chicken in the freezer that you wanna use up, keep track of all the meats that you have on hand, keep track of all your pantry items, snacks, and just keep it in one little place, one little notebook. And as you use it, you can just go ahead and cross it off because not a lot of people wanna be digging through everything every week and trying to remember what you have. So that just helps to have on hand as well. Okay, so step number seven, once you have your grocery list all set, you're gonna wanna go ahead and organize it based on the layout of your store. This is optional, but I do highly recommend it. So if you attend a certain grocery store all the time and you know the layout, just go ahead and organize your groceries based on the store. It just helps go through the store faster. It helps everything um, move more smoother. You won't have to go back and forth throughout the store for getting items that you went ahead and skipped over. It helps to not grab extra items when you're kind of just focused moving throughout the store and just grabbing what you need. It helps save money as always. Everybody loves to save money. So I just highly recommend to go ahead and organize your grocery list. If you don't really know the layout of your store, one thing that you can organize is organize it by section. So say you have all your meats organized, all your veggies, all your pantry items, all your snack things any drinks that you're gonna get. And that helps as well if you're going to like a new store because sometimes I like to attend a new store and I don't know the layout and then I'm lost and I'm like, what am I grabbing? And I'm kind of all over the place. So just organize it in a way that works best for you and it definitely helps out. 
So step number eight, this is just a little tip to help y'all out. So once you're done grocery shopping and you're home, if you have any food that you wanna prep for the week, I highly recommend to do that. So I am not big on meal prepping, some people are. If you do wanna meal prep for the week, you can just choose a specific day to meal prep and have your meals ready throughout the week. Usually what I prep is kinda of like veggies or fruits. So my kids are big on fruits, I'm big on fruits. I'll wash my fruits, I'll cut them up if they needed to be cut up I'll store them in containers in the fridge just so it's easier to grab throughout the week and you're not kind of repeating the same process throughout the week if there's any veggies you need to prep any just items that you need to separate I highly recommend to do that now like I said if you're someone that's gonna meal prep then do that plan a day that you have free for the week maybe it's your meal planning day once you go grocery shopping you can just come home meal prep for the week and you have everything ready so meal prepping does help as well for your weight loss journey. Tip number nine is to keep your meal plan in eyesight. So if you've been following me for a long time, usually when I do my grocery hauls, I'll show you my weekly meal plan. I have a board that I keep right there on my wall before I walk into the kitchen every morning. As soon as I wake up, I go to my meal planning board and I see what meals I'm going to be having for the day. This help, helps me to take out any meat that needs to be defrosted or just like any little prep that I need to do ahead of time. Maybe I need to marinate something. So it just helps you to keep a visual um, eye on your meal plan for the week. If you don't have a board, they do. I got mine at Marshalls. They do have them on Amazon. You can definitely look up meal planning boards. Or recently, I actually went to Walmart and they have meal planning journals. Um, these are good. I actually keep mine on a journal and I write down on there. That just helps me because I do also plan videos. So usually the meal plan planners at Walmart, they're kind of small. They have little small sections, um, but if you're someone that only needs a little bit of room, those would definitely help out. They also have, um, like a little list on the side to where you can write down your grocery list. So you can definitely find meal planners in different places. You can either buy them physically like a board or you can just have a journal. Maybe you can print one out online if you like to do that and just put it like in a little binder. But definitely keep a visual on your meal planning just because it does help throughout the week. And last tip, tip number 10, is to meal plan to be successful, especially at your weight loss journey, you guys. This has definitely helped me throughout all these years and I will always stick by meal planning and I will always tell people who start their weight loss journey to always meal plan ahead of time, to always plan out your meals and be consistent. So definitely do that guys and I hope these tips definitely help you. If y'all have any other questions, feel free to comment down below, but I really hope this video helped you throughout your journey. Even if you're not on your weight loss journey and you just need some tips on how to save money and just really wanna be on track with meal planning, you can definitely still follow these steps even with regular recipes. But I really hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you really enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.